Hey guys, Darkovica here, and today is a tutorial on how to get games such as Robin Hood The Legend of Sherwood and other old PC games that were released in the early 90s, um, late or early 2000s, to run on Windows 8 through Windows 10, and actually also Windows 7, if it doesn't run very well. Um, the issue with the particular game that we are going to play, Robin Hood The Legend of Sherwood, is without this fix, the game actually lags really badly and it's almost unplayable. Uh, you'll notice in Steam, the game actually has mixed to negative reviews and it's literally only for that reason. It's because Steam doesn't have the right files and when you download the game, it's actually unplayable in Steam. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to download in the descriptions, the first link you'll see, it's going to be this DS, uh, w, uh, or DS Win 8, this right here, this file. And it will have two files within it. You're going to drag and drop those two files into Robinhood folder in your Steam apps, common Robinhood. It's just going to be right here in the first folder. These specifically are required to have the game work in Windows 10. I don't know if you need them in Windows 8 or Windows 7. I do know that you need them in Windows 10. After you've downloaded those and pulled them into this folder, I would show you, except I've already done it, so you just drag and drop these into here. The next thing you're going to download, it'll be the second link in the description below, is DXWND. Specifically, this is very important, is the build version 2 underscore 2 underscore 9 0. It's very important that you download that because other DXWNDs do not work with uh, a lot of these games and this build seems to be like the number one build that works with with everything. So um, I have messed with some of the later DXWNDs and it, there's no point. It's, it's literally pointless. So if you were to run it, you'll see, um, it's mis in this case, it'll continuously ask me to run this in administrator mode. I just haven't set the properties for it correctly. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to hit add. Now, I'm, I'm just going to show you what I have um, in mine. There we go. So I have set the name to Robin Hood since this is specifically built for Robin Hood. This is very important. The next thing you're going to do is set your path to where your game.exe is, which is your Robin Hood Steam Apps folder. It's this file right here. So when you set when you get the link, you you can basically just come up into your explorer and hit copy and then paste it here in the path. Now I have my Steam folder installed somewhere um kind of strange. It's not where normal people install their Steam. So you want to make sure that you're get grabbing your Steam. Do not use my path because it's probably not where yours is. The next thing I have hook enabled and hook all DLLs, probably because of the two files that I have in here. And I have Robin Hood set to 1920 by 1080 because I have a very large monitor. You'll want to play with this depending on the size of your monitor. If you need to see your monitor, you can uh, hit display settings and kind of figure out um, what your display is by kind of just jumping around and basically dealing, looking through your settings and finding your screen size. In video, you want modal style. I have hide desktop background selected simply because I tend to have a flickering issue while this is running. Um, I haven't noticed this actually do anything, so I don't, I don't think it makes a big difference. Set 16 BPP RGB 565 encoding. This is what you want selected. And I have SVGA modes selected. The last settings that we want is hide cursor. It's very important. Otherwise, you will have this cursor plus the in-game cursor, and it's just very, very annoying. And correct mouse position so that it's always on top of your mouse. And there's also enable hotkeys. You want that selected and everything else should be what automatically is already selected. Uh, you don't need to change anything else. Also make sure that this is X, Y coordinates. So once you have this, you should see this be a green circle. If it's not a green circle, that means your settings are not quite right. And you'll probably want to go back and double check them. If it is correct, you can run uh, Robin Hood from Steam. So here I'm playing it now. Oh, I forgot. Um, typically, I've noticed that my screen flickers more when I have white windows in the background. Um, this is a sort of 
side effect of running DXWND, this this does happen. However, it's it's like a small price to pay for the fact that the game runs like gold, and there's no lag. So now if I, I hit go, you'll notice it's very smooth, he's moving very quickly. Um, the game basically is not lagging at all. So this is, this is the fix for that. I tried to record earlier what the game looks like when it's not working at all. And uh, it seems the fix was already running in the background. So it didn't exactly um, show that it was lagging. <laughs> So anyways, there we go. There's how to kind of set the game. This should work for any game on the PC that was made in like the 90s or um, the 2000s. So you should be able to set up different settings. Just basically copy paste what you have running for Robin Hood except change your path and name them something different. And just all you need is this window running in the background and you'll be able to run the game. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I will do my best to help you. If you have any issues or bugs, I will do my best to work through them with you. And thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye.